everyone. We are from third year CSC. In this video, we will depict the one way sliding into protocol by roleplay. Sender. Sender data link layer assigns sequence numbers for each frame to keep track of frames, that is, which frame is sent next. As it is one bit sliding window protocol, the sequence numbers used are 0 and 1. Sender sends one frame, stops sending next frame and waits for acknowledgement. Sender starts timer for sent frame. The purpose of the timer is, within timeout period of timer, if acknowledgement is not received by sender from the receiver, the frame will be retransmitted. This is called ARQ, Automatic Repeat Request. The sender has sending sliding window. The sliding window always indicate the sequence number of the frame to be sent next. If acknowledgement received for sent frame, the window will slide one bit position which shows the next frame to be sent. Receiver. Receiver is able to receive one frame at a time. The sliding window of receiver always indicate the sequence number of the frame expected next from the sender. Once frame is received, receiving data link layer checks for errors. If no errors found, accepts the frame, create the acknowledgement frame with the sequence number indicating the next expected frame by receiver. On successful receipt of frame, receiver sliding window will slide one bit and indicates the next frame expected from the sender. Upon receiving the frame, receiving data link layer checks for errors. If errors are found or frame is damaged, the receiving data link layer will keep in silence. That is, no acknowledgement is sent. Transmission medium. Between sender and receiver, the transmission medium is noisy channel. During transmission, the frames may be lost, frames may be damaged and acknowledgement may be lost or damaged. Case 1. Normal flow of frames from sender to receiver without any errors. Sender network layer hands over packet to data link layer. Data link layer encapsulates the packet into the frame and adds header and then it adds the trailer and now frame is created with header and trailer now the sending data link layer gives sequence number to the frame the sliding window of sender sequence number is 0 so frame is given sequence number as 0 the sending data link layer handovers frame 0 to physical layer and now it starts the timer now it waits for the acknowledgement. Physical layer transmits frame 0 to receiver through the noisy channel. Now the receiver physical layer receives frame 0 through the transmission medium. Physical layer handovers the frame 0 to data link layer. Receiver data link layer checks the sequence number of the frame. Expected frame is 0. Received frame is also 0. So, data link layer accepts the frame. It decapsulates the packet and it will hand it over to the network layer. As frame 0 is received correctly, receiver data link layer sliding window will slide to one bit showing next frame expected from the sender. The receiver data link layer creates acknowledgement with sequence number 1 and hand it over to the physical layer. The physical layer transmits acknowledgement 1 to the sender through transmission medium. Sender physical layer receives the acknowledgement 1 frame and hand it over to the data link layer. Now the sending data link layer understands that the previously sent frame was successfully received by the receiver. Here the ACK1 represents the next frame that is expected by the receiver. As the acknowledgement is received before the timer expires, the sender sliding window will slide one bit next representing the next frame that is to be transmitted. Now the sending data link layer will create a frame with the sequence number named as 1 and then it handovers this frame to the physical layer. And the sending data link layer will start the timer. The sender physical layer will transmit this frame 1 via transmission medium to the receiver physical layer. Frame 1 is received by the receiver physical layer and it is handed over to the data link layer. 
Now the receiver data link layer receives the frame 1 and it compares this number with the receiver sliding window and both are 1 and 1 and now it accepts this frame 1 and the receiver sliding window will slide to the next bit which is indicating the next frame expected from the receiver. Now the data link layer will create a frame with expected acknowledgement number as 0 and this is handed over to the physical layer. The receiver physical layer will transmit the acknowledgement frame to the sender by transmission media. Sender physical layer has now received the acknowledgement frame with numbered as 0. Acknowledgement 0 is handed over to the sender data link layer. The sender data link layer receives the acknowledgement frame and it understands that the previously sent frame was successfully sent to the receiver. As the acknowledgement is received before the timer is expired, the sender sliding window will slide to the next bit indicating the next frame that is to be sent to the receiver. In this manner, all the frames are transmitted from sender to receiver without any errors. Case 2. During the transmission of the frames, the frames will be lost in the network. The sender sliding window indicates the sequence number as 0 and now the data link layer will create the frame with sequence number named as 0 and it is handed over to the physical layer and hereby the timer will also start. The sender physical layer will transmit this frame 0 to the receiver physical layer and in this transmission the frame is lost. As the frame is lost, the receiver will never receive the frame and it will also not send the acknowledgement. And in this way, this eventually causes the timer at the sender side to time out. As the timer is expired, the data link layer will retransmit the same frame and this process of retransmission of the same frame is called as automatic repeat request. Case 3. The received frame is damaged. The sender physical layer will transmit the frame 1 via transmission medium. The receiver physical layer will accept the frame 1. The receiver physical layer will hands over this frame to the data link layer. The data link layer will check the frame and identifies that the frame is damaged. That means the frame is having some errors. So it will not accept this particular frame and it will discard it. As the acknowledgement is not sent by the receiver, this eventually causes the timer at the sender side to time out. And as it is timed out and as the timer expires, the data link layer will again retransmit the same frame that is frame number 1 and it hands it over to the physical layer. Case 4 wherein the acknowledgement is lost during the transmission. The sender data link layer will create the frame with the sequence number numbered as 0 and hands over this frame to the physical layer and at the same time the timer is started on the sender side. The physical layer will transmit this frame to the receiver via transmission medium. The receiving physical layer will hand over this frame to the data link layer. The data link layer will check the sequence number of the received frame and also it checks the expected sequence number that is 0. So it accepts this frame and the receiving sliding window will slide one bit next indicating the next frame that is expected from the center. The receiver data link layer will create the acknowledgement frame with the sequence number of the frame that is expected next and it hand over this frame to the physical layer. The physical layer will transmit this acknowledgement frame and in this process the acknowledgement frame is lost. This eventually causes the timer at the center side to time out. As the acknowledgement is not received by the center, the same frame will be retransmitted by the data link layer. That is the frame 0 is again retransmitted 